welcome to the second video. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, please uh, watch the first video first. I'll go over more details on the first video, which I will not cover again in this video. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the second way of installing the uh, brake lines onto your car. This time we're going to use the original uh, airline detail here. Now we'll take our uh, height gauge and check to make sure our coupler is at the right height. Uh, which it is. Just like in the first video, we're going to take our gluing jig with a uh, brake line attached to it, slide it up to the car, and make a mental note where we have to re-glue uh, the original airline to the car. Uh, when we re-glue the original airline to the car, we'll have to move it back this way slightly uh, so this uh, part of the air hose uh, will line up right here. We're going to remove the trucks, uh, cut the trip pin off the coupler, make sure you wear safety glasses when you do that, and we'll also remove the original hose airline detail from the car. Let's go ahead and trim these two pins off, cut the whole uh, length here a little bit shorter, and we'll trim it off right here at the ball caulk valve, trimming this off and trimming uh, this handle off a little bit shorter too. Now we need to add two small drops of super glue right here and here. Now carefully take your airline and place it onto your car. Now you want to flush with the bottom of the coupler box right to the very edge and you want this part just sticking past the end of the coupler box itself. It's better to be a tiny bit over than in. I've uh, let the glue set on the airline, so I went ahead and installed the trucks and the coupler back on the car. Now let's grab our uh, jig with our uh, brake line on it and see how it lines up with the airline. And it lines up perfectly. So let's go ahead and uh, glue it to the car. Let's add a small dab of glue to the brake line. And place the jig on the tracks, place the weight up on top of the jig, and slide it into place. And making sure that the magnet is in the center line of the car. And we'll just let it sit and we'll be right back. Now the glue is set on our brake line so we could remove the jig from the car. And let's see how it looks with another car. And there you go. Every manufacturer has slightly different airlines, so some may work, some may not, but give it a shot. So let's go ahead and check out our third installation video.